Chatumpu Miledwaba about how she started her beauty business after walking out of a university exam. Mpumi Siswam, welcome back to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's good to be back. I would have loved to be on the couch with you, though. Bumi, you have grown such a successful business, but not without its challenges and hardships. So tell us about how it all got started and what made you decide to go into nails. Yeah, so when I started out, um, actually the whole business idea started when I was in corporate, um, working while studying, and that's when I actually started with my business plan because I knew that I wanted to be in business um, and I, I knew that I didn't want to uh, work for somebody for the rest of my life. So that was a great place to kind of understand what I want to do. And then um, I walked out of an exam because I really felt, I, I, I think I heard the voice of the Lord saying, this is not where you belong. Yeah. And obviously that didn't come without any trials. It's not to say that everything was just simple and plain. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of frustration, a lot of, okay, what's next? Mm. And then I got, I started, I, I registered my company as a cleaning company because I knew that I didn't need capital for that. And then I started cleaning people's houses. And then eventually um, when I got married, I went to nail school and then nobody would hire me after nail school. So I, all I had was my car. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to start my own business and I'm going to drive to people's houses and do their nails. And then it grew and grew until I got my own establishment, my own wow. place. And a year later, I branched out into natural hair. Wow, it's so interesting to hear just that step-by-step -step journey that you've had to go through to get to where you are today. So what challenges did you have to face with that mobile salon? And when did you see that, you know what, it's time to expand? <laughs> Yo, the challenges with the mobile salon was, it, it became a time thing. Well, at first I wasn't that good at what I was doing. So I'd literally go to Santon, do the nails, then go to Midran, then go to wherever. And I was newlywed. And then a day later, someone would be like, oh, my nails broken. And as I improved, more people requested me and I was saving money while doing the mobile thing. And eventually that's when I decided, you know what, I think it's time to get a place. But it was really a time thing and not having the correct skills from the, from the beginning. So now that you do have Aneno Beauty Bar, how different is the environment that you've created for those having and wanting to get their nails and hair done? That compares, of course, to other bars. I call Aneno Beauty Bar the dream factory because of where I started. It was something that I dreamt about, I imagined. And I want whenever a woman walks into the space, they feel like they can achieve anything um, they put their mind to anything that's in line with their purpose. Mm. And the environment is very clean, it's very fresh, it's white walls, lovely paintings. And I really wanted to create a space that is aesthetically pleasing, but also relaxing. Like you don't want to be in a place that's busy and you're getting your nails done, but you really, we, we have a really nice environment, beautiful music. And of course our ladies are lovely to chat to. But I think the essence of my environment is that it's the dream factory. I mm. really want people to get that aspect that it's not just another place to get your nails but it's some I want you to come out with something based on my story. So how have you then made your business a success and what advice do you have for other women out there who want to become entrepreneurs might not be in the beauty industry in whatever industry could even be content creation. Yeah I think be passionate about what you're doing as I said in the beginning um I was in corporate and I was making good money and I could have just stayed there but I decided you know what I want more there's more to life than just making uh, money and making a living. Mm. And one thing you should notice, um, pay attention to the things you did as a child that you would do freely without expecting money and how you can turn that into profit. And obviously things don't happen instantly. In the beginning phases, do some research. Now we're so privileged to literally have YouTube. YouTube explains everything. It's a university. Use Google. <laughs> Make sure you do a lot of like you do your research when going into business and don't expect to make profit instantly. So it's really good to be prepared financially, read some financial books and yeah, but most importantly, mm. follow passion. If you're starting a business for money, you're in the wrong space. Make sure you're passionate about what you're doing and then how you can make that passion profitable. Beautiful. And Bumi, before we let go of you, what is 2021 looking like? Okay, let's not act like 2020 is even finished. We're still in September. So what is the future, let's say, looking like for you? And of course, the Aneno Beauty Bar. Yo, the future for me is I'm going um, e-commerce. 
So my business didn't have a website for the longest time because I didn't see a need for it. I felt like Instagram was a great enough platform for booking service, etc. But now we are busy working on our uh, website and we are going to be launching some products, um, a Nino products. I don't want to say it. I wanted to say, but I think, let me not say, um, look out for our website that will be launching in October and we're going to be selling some of our products. I might pop in gel polish there. Those who know will know. <laughs> Those who know will know. Oh, I'm so excited for you, Mpumi. Thank you so much for touching base with us again. Um, although so much has happened through 2020, it's so incredible to see that you're still strong and war and working so well not only within your family but giving us the beauty care we need goodbye girl <laughs> Mwah. Mpumi is proof that you can strive to get where you want to be by having a little faith, vision and determination. For more information on Mpumi and her nail and beauty bar, please do follow her on her social media.